God for our leader, Pastor Jennings, man who God has risen up and has sent unto us to give us the word of truth in a time like now. We are grateful to be a part of this wonderful occasion, giving thanks to the Lord God Almighty for his goodness and his mercies that he has extended <coughs> towards us. We are here this 23rd day of August, is our third day of our 15th uh, Holy National Convocation. We are celebrating in the parish of Westmoreland in Savannah Lamar to be specific. We thank God for this truth. Thank God this broadcast is coming from First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ with our headquarters at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, in the city of Pennsylvania. We thank the Lord for the opportunity to be in this wonderful church, the Church of Jesus Christ. Uh, we have with us visiting <coughs> ministers from the uh, United States, Pastor Taylor, and um, Bishop Ferguson from Bahamas. And before I present unto you our pastor, we want to hear greetings from them. And we hear from Bishop uh, Ferguson at this time, followed by Pastor Taylor. Bishop Ferguson. Pastor Jennings and all of the ministering brethren, saints, it is a privilege to be in Jamaica again. I've had many occasions to visit Jamaica in the past during our conferences as a superintendent of the United Pentecostal Church International. We have had many services throughout the island of Jamaica. And this morning I can tell you that I am at home I feel so comfortable. I looked around on the platform and I see that I am the old man in the midst. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I have been preaching what Pastor Jennings is preaching from 1971. I became affiliated with the United Pentecostal Church in 1987 and from, from 1987 until the 31st of December 2014 I was officially a part of the United Pentecostal Church but I never felt at home I affiliated and everyone knew that I never felt at home and I recall when I uh, attended the first Caribbean conference in 87. It was held in Sandy Dominica, in Sandy, uh, Sandy Domingo, Dominican Republic, in a hall similar to this. And I asked myself then, what am I doing here? I don't feel at home. This is not where I belong. And I sat there looking at the building and there was so much similarity but there was one difference I feel at home I feel that this is my family the first message that I heard Pastor Jennings preached it was in April of 2014 at the behest of someone from Jamaica, really, who called me in the Bahamas and said, you ought to listen to this man. He sounded just like you. I said, oh, forget that. I'm the only man in the world that preached this message. <laughs> and for 40 years, Pastor Jennings was the first minister that I sat down and listened to his message. First one. And in 40 years, he was the first minister I met that believe what I believe. And so today I want to encourage all of you, especially the young ministers, you need to understand that there is only one truth. You can live in a pig pen, but you don't have to eat the pig food. You can stand for what you believe in spite of. Everyone in UPC, from the general superintendent and to all of the ministers here in Jamaica, 
the superintendent of Jamaica, Bishop Hustlin, Bishop Smith, uh, Bishop Smith, Brother McCoy, they all knew my position. And they all knew that my doctrine was different. Wonderful. But the point is, you don't have to bow to anybody. Wonderful. You can stand up for what you believe. <laughs> and make no mistake, I did not leave UPC because I did not have any position. Right. I did not left UPC because of organization. Right. United Pentecostal Church is a formidable church in terms of organization. But it came to the point where I had to make a decision between being a part of an organization with fame and protocol and organizational status rather than to be true to my own doctrine. And I made a determination to go with my doctrine. And that's why I'm here today. And so I'm here and I hope that all of the young brothers who are here will understand. Paul said to Timothy, what I have taught you, you teach it to able and faithful men so that they may teach others. And you know, I'm going on, on now to the censor of my life, but I am so at peace. I feel so good. I feel so inspired, rejuvenated, overly excited when I look around and see the, all of these young men. Even Pastor Jennings. <laughs> I feel overly excited to know that in my time of ministry, I have fought a good fight. I have had many negative experiences. I have had many times of troubles and trials, but I stood to what I believe. And I have no intentions of changing it now. If I didn't change it then, I'm not going to change it now. Hold the faith. God bless you. Glory to God. Thank God. We, we thank Bishop Ferguson for those wonderful remarks. We can take them to heart and let us uh, listen carefully to what he says and be obedient. Pastor Taylor. Greetings, everyone. It's a privilege and an honor to be here uh, today to experience another uh, good meeting. We thank God for the uh, devotion and certainly the, uh, the choir that came forth to really uh, sung, sung from the, yes, the bottom of their heart. I, I experienced the, the first time uh, when, we were in the, when we first came to, to Jamaica at uh, Maypen, Clarendon. And uh, I was so excited and full of joy that I went back to America and I just kept on telling it, telling it, telling to the brothers and sisters how that you really, when you praise God, you really give it your all. Praise him, glory to God, hallelujah. You really give it your all. That's when we come to God, we should do that. We should praise him, give him the glory and give him the honor for what he has done to be saved and saved the right way is good it's good even though you may get reproach from your own family but this is good this is good it's the right thing to do glory to God so we thank God for this uh, uh, glory to God we thank God for his grace, his mercy that he allowed us to be here. And I'm really filled up with joy. And most of all, I thank God for the word. I thank God for Bishop Ferguson. Yes, sir. We had an opportunity on uh, Friday. We just sat and we just talked and we just talked and we just talked. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm with First Church. I've been with First Church now serving uh, three years this coming November. Hallelujah. And I watched it on the telecast over five years. And I looked around. I looked at Bible Way and 
oh, so many different uh, other organizations, and I saw how they were drifting away from the truth. They were drifting away from the Bible. And I wanted to be right. I want to make a stand. So I was alone about four years. Just me. And then I began to think about the, the message that we would watch over and over again, the telecast. I said, I'm going to the first church. i never forget it. It was on a Sunday. I had, I had, I had given uh, Pastor Jennings a call. I said, I'm coming. I'm coming. I got to talk to you. And praise the Lord. It was on a Sunday evening. I'll never forget it. And when I met him, I said, look, this is where I belong. I said, this is where I belong. Let, let me say this. I have no mind to leave. I have no mind to leave, even though the way of holiness is hard. But it's right. I said, it's hard, but it's right. And the scripture teaches us. Without holiness, no man, no man, nobody shall see the Lord. And that's my desire. I want to see God in peace. I want to see him in peace. I ain't, I'm not going nowhere. I said, I'm not going nowhere. Hallelujah. The scripture says, be not moved from the hope of this gospel. Praise the Lord. We thank God for the gospel message. I'm glad to be a part of it. Glory to God, hallelujah. And I want to put my all and all in it to support it, to be a help to it, not try to pull it down, that God may have the increase. Glory to God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I'm happy. I'm, let me sit down. Glory to God, I'm, I'm, so, uh, I'm just full of joy. I really am. I thank God for uh, Mr. Gary and all of the ministers, all the brothers that, that label. Glory to God, and, uh, glory to God and for this message. Message of holiness. Some don't like to use that word. Holiness. That's God's way. That's God's standard. God's, God is holy. And we must be like him. him. Glory to God. It's, it's a struggle. It's hard. But you got to strive. You got to want it. When you want it, you can overcome the, all the obstacles that the devil may put in your way. I don't, go, I don't want my labor to be in vain. I don't want to die and go to hell. Why would I want to go to hell? When there's a way that's made for me to have eternal life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. We thank God for you. Pray for us. For my mind that God will continue to keep us. Keep our mind. Let the mind be. That's mine. Be you, be you. Praise him, glory to God. Hallelujah, the mind of Christ. Glory to God, pray for us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.